Hey guys, what's up? Brian here. Uh, I bought a uh, TH Marine G Force trolling motor handle. Uh, and we're going to uh, install that today. Uh, so it looks like it'll be pretty easy. Uh, I got it out here. Now, on some of the forums, guys have been mentioning that um, the handle. They've been having problems with the handle, with the cable popping out of the handle. And I think what their, part of their problem may be, I'm just guessing here, is that the ball end of the, uh, they're putting that in the handle instead. Because I know on my Pro Series, at first when I was uh, putting it on, I would started to put it on in the beginning. And I thought, uh, well it would probably be easier to do this end in here. And it seemed to work out better. Um, but that is not the case. This this end does not go in the handle. So uh, anyway, well let's go ahead and get started, and I'll show you. Uh, I've already had it on my trolling motor, and I took it off so I could make a video of the installation of it. So I'll show you the parts come with it. You get the handle, the cable, uh, two washers, and you'll get uh, a Allen wrench. You'll get an Allen wrench, and this thing, this is the part that goes in the handle. The uh, wire goes through that hole there, and then you have two uh, Allen screws that go in either end of it to lock, basically put pressure on the cable. And so, um, and this part is what goes in the handle. Uh, so then it, with two little Allen screws, and then what I'm going to use is to keep those screws, I'm going to use some uh, Permatex uh, thread locker blue on those Allen screws. Um, so I'm going to put this on. It's um, The river's still kind of frozen up. Some of the uh, rivers are frozen up, so I can't really get out and go fishing today, but I'll go ahead and put this on, and then I'll, I'll post later uh, on in the season how it's holding up. But uh, there was a lot of bad reviews on some of the forums and um, and stuff and I just don't I don't think they're installing it correct because um, other people I know that have it um, they haven't had an issue so I don't know so let's get started okay I have a uh, motor guide pro series trolling motor um, mine doesn't have the nice uh, you know the Oh, high dollar motor guides. Uh, I think they have the gator mounts or whatever. Um, but mine uses this mechanism here slides to unlatch. And so we're going to run the cable right through this hole right here. Um, I've already removed my old cable. My old cable hadn't broke, but it was getting ready to. Thought I, so I thought before the season starts, it might be a good idea to go ahead and replace that. So. So what you want to so what you want to do is take um, what I did was put one of the washers on, slide it on the opened end of the cable, the end of the cable without the ball, and it comes with two washers, a smaller one and a bigger one. Uh, I'm going to be able to just use the smaller one, so I'm just going to use the smaller one. You slide that on, and what I I did on my cable is I took a pair of pliers and I bent that cable at a 90 because where the cable went through that's about a quarter inch space in there and so I want to go ahead and get the bend in there instead of later on in, down the road so it'll be kind of like that and it'll just kind of sit in there like that and be able to pull straight so we'll go ahead and run this through now when you're doing this make sure you read the directions exactly. Now the directions I got are not even close to what my trolling motor is, so um, but make sure you um, take note of how your old cable came out. That's critical that you know that because it has to go. This cable has to go back through the same way that your old cable came out. So I'm going to route this down through. Let me get this 
camera over here so you can see where I'm going to be coming out. So there's a where the cable comes out, goes above one of the uh, uh, rods there. So there, I got it coming out the hole where the other cable came through. So that's it. And then once you get this out, you can pull on it and, and test it. So now we're going to put the, the uh, handle on. And now we'll move on to uh, putting the handle on. So you want to take the open end, take your handle, and just shove it right through there. It'll come out that rubber right there. So we don't really need to worry about the cable right now. Go ahead and grab this here. And it's going to go through the center here. Just shove that on there. Make sure it pops out the other end. You don't need a whole lot sticking out the other end, if at all. You don't even want any sticking out the other end. That's your call. But I'm going to have a little bit sticking out the other end. So now I'm going to take those two Allen screws. I'm going to put the uh, Permatex thread locker blue on there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the thread locker and I'm just going to put just a little bit in there on both sides. And I think that will also sink down into the cable too, so that will help. Put the lid back on, don't want to get it all over my boat. Some messy stuff. Okay. And then take your two Allen screws. One in one side, there. And then the other one. And even the first time I put this on, it was really easy to get in. Then take, in the, take the Allen wrench that they provide and you want to crank that puppy down. You want to crank it down as tight as you can. And it might be a good idea after two or three outings um, double check the tightness on that. Let me get a rag real quick. Some of that blue walker's coming out. Then once you get uh, get that, they say use a pair of pliers, which I would, but I can't find my freaking pliers right now, so I'm going to use a pair of needle nose on here. I'm going to crank this thing down as tight as I can get it. It's actually twisting the uh, Allen wrench quite a bit. You don't want to tighten it too much. Some of you guys, you know, I knew a guy that could tighten down a lug nut on a vehicle with his bare hand, and I had a hard time getting back off of the wrench. He was an older man, big guy. But uh, anyway, but yeah, just you want to get it as tight as you can. You don't want to strip the Allen out. So think that'll do. Check the other side real quick. Okay, that seems pretty pretty darn tight. And then you just pull the cable through here. Let's see, I think it goes in like that. Now you'll notice it kinda sticks out like that. So take you, your needle nose or something like that and take and stick in there and pop that rubber over it like so.
both sides. So, there we go. Installed. Well, guys, got to put on. I was going to show you real quick. Of course, I'm not out on the water, but uh, it uh, is definitely a lot smoother. Lifts, lifts her up. That the uh, wire is a little bit uh, stiff, which that's to be expected. I mean, it's steel cable with the covering compared to a rope. Big difference there. So, but I don't think it'll be a big deal overall. I, the cable for me, I think, is a little bit long. I don't know. Once I get on the water, maybe not. Maybe it's perfect length. But I'm going to leave it like this. And if it's too long for me, I'm going to cut it down. So. Anyway, so, and it pulls and, and lifts right up, so, huh, yeah, I think that will work. Overall, guys, the TH Marine, so far, I mean, as far as installation, at least on my actually motor, piece of cake, it was easy. So, uh, wasn't a problem at all to get that uh, in there. Uh, like I say, I mean, this ought to last a lot longer. There's nothing worse than being out on the water, you know, uh, fishing. It happened to us one day on Truman Lake, and we had about 15, 20 mile an hour winds with 30, 30 mile an hour gusts. and. Uh, it was a Nitro Z9 with a you know 101 pound thrust motor guide on it, and the rope broke right at the wrong time. We were on a bank, and uh, anyway, it took us about 35, 40 minutes to fix it. The hard part was just getting the trolling motor back up so you could get to it. So I think this, even though some guys said they even broke the cable, you're not going to break it down here. I just don't see that happening. <laughs> It's uh, so you're still gonna have this out here. So even if your handle was to fall off, you're still gonna be fishing all day. Uh, some guy said the handle had split or broke. So we'll see throughout the season. Now, I'm just thinking that they had installed it incorrectly. I'm thinking they installed the ball end into the handle. I could be wrong. You know, I wasn't there. But um, we'll just see. I'll give you guys reports throughout the season if it breaks or anything like that. I will let you know. But uh, so far, I like the looks of it. I think it'll be pretty cool, guys. Hey, we'll check you out next time on Odell Outdoors. Later, guys.